my trains are always so calming. Not even a person in sight, just me and my own thoughts. All I need now after spending weeks on Lao, close to Ivor. Coming back home. I have my sister and her girl runs ready to welcome me back. I will change soft hugs, laugh, go to their place and fall asleep. If I'll be able to fall asleep at all. I reach to one of the pockets of my old trusty trench coat. There was only one thing in here. Broken pendant. Black rhombus with silver rays of light coming from the center. Similar fate that was long gone. I get from someone I can no longer meet. It's her birthday today. My phone is so fucking heavy in my other pocket. And it's begging to be used. I want to call her so badly. I want to wish her all the best, but I know she won't pick up her phone. Get your shit together, Cass. You got her brainwashed beyond recognition. She isn't your maid anymore. Saying this out loud doesn't help at all. I know it. The maid that I used to know no longer exists. But no matter how much time passes, I cannot accept it. There needs to be a way to wake her up from all of this. Something I didn't try yet. Something I still have to try. I last saw her a few years ago. Her eyes were empty. No trace of that glow she used to have when we were children. She didn't look at me, but past me. Through me. I wasn't there. She had no trouble telling me that we're not sisters anymore. Her true siblings were only siblings in faith now, as Elder Anna said. Years of spending time together, whole life of being by each other's side, it was gone. She got my pendant and broke it. She watched. That was the only time she showed any emotion. First came shock, then rage. But she never picked up her phone when I called her since then. We are no longer sisters. We were enemies. I shiver when I remember Elder Anya's gay as she told me that I'm too prideful. It was the bitterest, sweet, bitterest tone she could speak with, reserved only for talking about worse sins during the sermons. Pride was wrong. It made people believe in themselves, and this was what made people believe. May was definitely afraid of being too prideful. I couldn't say the same about myself. Her head was already filled with visions of sinful world going down in flames. She didn't want to be a part of it. Me? I thought it was BS. I kept my head high while she looked at her shoes. I was speaking for her when her voice was too quiet. Outside, she was mad, but inside, I know she was thankful. And no, Yaranya didn't like it. I was too loud, too curious, asking too many questions. A bad influence. She won't pick up. But for fuck's sake, it's her birthday. She's my sister. No matter what, I have to try for her. I have to show her that no matter what, I'm still here for her. I take my phone. My hands are shaky as I unlock it and I try to open the phone app. The sweaty hands. My number is right there, under my finger. I'm just one tap away from this call, but it's the hardest tap I'll ever make. I feel like I have a fever. I'm delusional. It's the point of calling if she won't pick up. It's this pointless, stupid hope that you have, trying to destroy a wall by hitting it with your head. I want her back. I need her back. One tap away. Next station in Westerners March Square. Please remember to take your luggage. Fuck, I don't have time. It's just one tap away. Come on, Cass. Three, two, one. Tap. Damn beeping. One beep. Two beeps. She won't pick up. Why not even wait? Three beeps. Hello, sister. May here. I smile. Finally. Hearing her after all this time makes me feel so relieved, even though her voice is soulless. May, hey, it's me. July 
Why? Well, I'll say Cassidy. He's my new name instead of the old one. Seems like it scared her away. Nope. Okay, let's go back to the new name. Let's go back. To the old name, actually. The name did not scare her away. She doesn't respond for a while. Mage lie. Okay. What are you calling for? Her voice only fills a hope. I just wanted to say happy birthday to you. Oh. This appointment that I hear gives me chills. You're not returning then? I won't return. But we consider then we can talk. I'll pray for you. May hey, wait. Fourth beat. And the call. Put my phone back in my pocket mechanically. Who really doesn't want to know me? I knew it. But realizing it, I'm not able to stop the tears from coming. He doesn't love me anymore. It hurts so much. I can't let Jun, Junko and Cell see me this way. Breathe in, breathe out, I look normal. Any questions about my state? It'd be a massive blow to my pride. Announcement, okay. Stations, left news mark square. My biggest smile on to lead the train. Whoa, is that it? I guess that was it. I don't. Okay, let's try the cast there out then. Boys who were anger. I only wanted to say happy birthday. I know. I won't fall for your emotional tricks. Her tone is so cold and it gives me chills. Unless you repent and return, I don't want to hear from you. I'm not returning. And then we have nothing to talk about. Goodbye. Hey, no. Okay. That's how things are. I knew it'll go like this, but I nearly saw myself from before I screamed. Couldn't be more grateful for an empty train now. I can until my throat feels sore. Can't let June juke on Celsius this way. Okay. Wow. Well, I guess that was it. I didn't expect it to end that way, but let me let me check the website for this game real quick. Make sure I'm not tripping. Um, no, I'm not. I guess that's it for that one. Um, this is called Pride. Um, basically this game. Uh. Well, everything will be in the description if you want to know what it's about, but also read it real quick. Um, Cassie Attaway is a well-known paranormal investigator is coming back home, took a break from her before yet another journey. Despite her prominent presence in social media, not many know about the darker side of her story involving a destructive cult, especially that the family never mentions. On her way home, Cassie tried to make her birthday call to her, a call that she knows won't go well. So it is very much a short game. Um, but still, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, don't hesitate to like, share, and comment, support the video and the channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this game and play it for yourself, then you can do that. Um, I will through the two options that are available, so it's truly up to you. But um, with that being said, you know, hopefully you had a good day. Yesterday and better tomorrow, and I will catch you all in the next video.